guys welcome back to my channel and on today I'm going to be showing you how I make my red rice today you would need your Uncle Ben's rice pepper you can use any kind of pepper you like salt you can use any kind of salt you like tomato paste two cans of your eight ounce tomato sauce shrimp I already peeled my shrimp two cups of water one cup of sugar you need butter because you're going to need a tablespoon of butter let's go Okay, first thing you want to start off doing is adding your shrimp. And if you don't like shrimp, because uh, I know some people are allergic to it, you do not have to add shrimp. You can just add your main ingredient, your sausage. I forgot to let you know that you have to add sausage. You can use any type of sausage you would like. So you're going to add your sausage. Um, you can use bell peppers as well. I use it sometimes, sometimes I don't, but a lot of people use bell peppers. I don't use bell peppers that much, but you can. Okay. Now that you have put your sausage and your shrimp, you can start adding your ingredients in. I like to add my two cups of water. Then I'm gonna add my tomato sauce. Add my second tomato sauce. Stir that around. I'm going to add your tomato paste. Okay, so you're just going to mix, that, mix your tomato paste around in your mixture until it dissolves. Okay, so now you're going to add your salt. If I had to guess, that would be maybe a tablespoon. Your pepper. You're going to do two tablespoons of butter. Mix that around until your butter is completely melted. Okay, so now you're gonna add your sugar. I know I said I add one cup of sugar, but it just depends. <laughs> that, you know, the sugar helps take away that tart taste in your uh, red rice, so. If you want it sweeter, you'll add more sugar. So sometimes I add more sugar because I like my red rice a little sweet. But one cup of sugar would do. Okay. Now that you have added everything into your mixture, the last thing you will add is your rice. And you literally just dump the whole box the whole entire box. You'll be surprised. This one little box will make a whole pan of red rice. And you're just gonna mix your rice in. Okay, so now that you've added your rice, next thing you're going to do is you're going to add your rice into your pan. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my rice, I mean, add my mixture and my rice into my pan. Okay, 
move this around. Some people, they let their uh, mixture cook on the stove. But when you let your red rice cook on the stove, you have to actually tend to it a lot. You have to keep stirring and mixing and stirring and mixing. But uh, when you put it in the oven, you just have to check every like 10, 15 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I put my oven on 350 degrees. I'm gonna wrap this with some aluminum foil and then I'm gonna put this in my oven for about 45 minutes. But I'm going to actually stir it in between. So this is how my pan looks. You have to make sure you wrap your aluminum foil tightly because the steam is what's gonna cook your rice. So you don't have to pull any holes, none of that. Just Make sure you wrap it tight and put it in the oven. I'm going to show you what it looks like halfway through. So I'll be back. Okay, so my red rice has been cooking for about 10, 15 minutes. So next thing you're going to do, you see your water is drying out. Your liquid is drying out. So what you're going to do is get you a fork and just move it all around. Move it all around. Make sure you putting that rice everywhere, every place where the liquid is. And you're just gonna keep doing this every few minutes, you know, every so often. Sometimes I just do it twice, but you just mix it around. That way all the mixture can uh, be dissolved by your rice and then the rice begins to soften. So I'm gonna put this back in for about another 15 minutes before I go through it again. And then after that, I'll show you guys the finished product. All right, you guys, here's your finished product. This is my red rice after being in the oven for about 40 minutes, 350 degrees. Look at that. All right. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.